Hi, I'm Steve from Optima Tennis and welcome to my back garden where I'm going to be filming some drills to help you improve your footwork, hand-eye coordination and basic tennis skills. Okay, the first drill involves uh, two pairs of rolled up socks. I'm going to use one to start with, put it on the ground in front of you and then you're just going to do some toe taps or some skips on and off. You're going to land very, very lightly on the balls of your feet. I want you to do 50, uh, but I'm just going to demo 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, when you've done 50, you can then put another pair of socks down and you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to alternate between the two. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, final progression is crossovers where you touch the left pair of socks with the right foot, right pair of socks with the left foot. One, two. So 50 would be good, but it's a bit of a workout. So if you feel that you are um, uh, out of breath and maybe 50 is too many, then you just tailor it to your own needs. Okay, so when you've done that, you can just spread them out a little bit more. So it's probably about a half a meter apart and you're gonna do a figure of eight. And you can do this for say 30 seconds. Uh, facing forwards each time and you're going to try and uh, do it as side skips around the socks in a figure of eight. Here we go. So this is great because it keeps you light on your feet. A lot of these movements you'll find when you're playing tennis. Try not to go over the sock like that, go around it and through. And uh, as I say, about 30 seconds and uh, it'll be a good workout for you. So that's the pair of socks routines. Uh, we'll now use a ball. So we've got a ball, just a normal tennis ball. I'm going to throw it against the wall, catch it without a bounce. Do 10 of these and then progress it. Uh, and uh, a good progression would be throwing it with one hand and catching it with the other. So I'm going to throw it with my right, catch it with the left, and then throw it with the left, catch it with the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you throw it at a slight angle, then it'll give you more of a workout. That's pretty difficult. You might not get to that stage, you might uh, find it difficult just to throw it and catch it with two hands without the um, angle and without catching it with one hand. So just um, move on when you think it's appropriate. Whew. Right, next stage. Uh, I'm going to do it with a bounce. Okay, so throw the ball against the wall. Uh, this is not the best lawn uh, in the world, so I'm going to get an irregular bounce, which is going to be great because it will test my reactions. One two, three, can't really count that, three, four, five, six, seven, not easy if you're six foot two, eight, nine, ten. That's difficult, uh, even more so because of the state of the bounce, you know, the lawn. If you're doing it um, against uh, your garage uh, wall and you've got some kind of tarmac outside, then it's going to be a bit easier. <sighs> right, you have to bear with me a minute. This is uh, kind of no, no editing involved here. Uh, okay, so this time I'm going to do it um, with one hand like I did before against the wall but it's got to be a bounce, there's going to be a bounce involved. So I'm going to throw it with my right to start with, catch it with my left, and then throw it with my left, catch it with my right. One, two, adding a bit of width, oops, a daisy, so that I get a workout. Notice that I run to the ball, and then I've got to really bend to get down because it's a really low bounce and the key here is that you're on your toes all the time and uh, yeah you know very similar to tennis in the sense that you've got to bend a lot of the times for a low ball okay they're the two drills that I want you to try uh, against a wall 
uh, with, uh, without a bounce to start with and then with a bounce. Okay, the next drill involves just throwing the ball up in the air and catching. There. Now, if that is difficult and I want everybody to try this, all ages and abilities, so if that's a bit tricky, let the ball bounce on the ground and it might be a little bit easier. Make sure that if you're in the garden that you bend your knees a lot because the ball's not going to bounce very high. Okay, so we'll go back to the original drill, throw the ball up in the air, and the progression is you're going to clap once, twice, and then five. Okay. Uh, what some people do, especially the kids when I do it with them, is that they will throw the ball up in the air, they'll count to five but actually only clap twice or maybe even once. So you've got to make sure that each um, number that you count equates to a clap. Okay, watch out for that. Uh, when you get to five, uh, then I want you to catch it with one hand. So you go through the one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. So, one, two, three, four, five okay and then you can do it with the other hand that was my left hand so that should be my weaker side uh, then do it uh, with your opposite hand uh, and then the final progression is one hand one leg so let's see we're going to start with one that's one try and hold your balance not easy two three Four. Oh, that was four, wasn't it? I think that was five. Hold it for five seconds. Three. I think I just did it. Okay. Uh, you try it, and then when you've done it with one hand, do it with the other hand, or do it with the other leg as well. And uh, yeah, it could take you a while, actually. I'm pleased I got through that. Uh, stay tuned, because there's going to be more drills every day.